Hey everyone, it's Chris here from Easel. Today I'm super excited because if you haven't heard the massive news, we've just launched Curve Text. So today I'm going to show you some simple ways to use a new Curve Text tool on some different templates. So let's jump into the first design. Go up to my workspace and I'll open up this sale post design that I've been working on. I want to apply the curved text to this shop now today only text box here. So I'll just click on that, go up to my top action bar and I'll find this new little curved text icon, which is a T with a curved line running underneath it. So I'll click on that and it will open up this slider that shows the degrees for the curve. So if I increase it, the curve goes one way. If I decrease it, the curve reverses and then I can go to full extreme and make the text go around a full circle in one direction and in the other direction. Super cool little curve text effect in easel. We're really excited about. So I'll just bring that curve up slightly and I'll get a nice curve to my heading 130, 138, something like that's fine. I can increase it or decrease it using the little corner handles and I can move it around till I'm happy with the position. I'm gonna change the color of it. So I'll go to my palette and just change that to gold. I can also change the font. So I'll change it to something like Arvo with it still selected. And then something really cool is I'll have that selected and then I can go up to the text spacing and I can space that text out. So you can see by increasing the text spacing, the effect it has on my curved text. So when I'm happy with that, I'll just decrease it slightly, use these little corner handles, and I'll position it to where I want it. So there you go, that's an awesome way to use the curved text in your next design. So let's play around with another design. So I'll go back up to my easel icon, and I'll open up this sales story design here. So I'll just click on that. And let's zoom up into it so I can see the design a little better. So I'll do the same thing and click on the shop now today only text box. And then I'll go up to my action bar and find my curved text icon. So I'll click on that and just increase the degrees so the text goes around into a full circle. Something like that is awesome. So then I'll just bring in these handles to the side, make everything nice and tidy. I'll decrease the size of it and I'll just position it so it's over the corner of the L there. So all I want to do now is increase the text spacing of it. So I'll just boost that up and then I'll just go to my rotate and I'll rotate that round slightly. So I've got the shop now positioned at the top. So there you go. That's another really cool way to use the curve text on your next design. So I'll show you one more design where we can apply the curve text to. So I'll go back up to my easel icon and I'll open up this menu here. So all I want to do now is apply the curve text to this heading. So I'll select the heading and then go up to my top action bar, find the curve text icon, and let's just give that a nice little curve. So there you go. That's a really cool way to add curve text to your next menu design too. I hope the new curve text tool gets you more creative in your next easel design. Check out our other videos for more tips like these. Leave a comment below. Give us a like if you enjoyed the content and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified whenever we post a new video. Thanks heaps for watching.